I'm Nathan Sparks with City View TV and part of our ongoing 2018 Top Attorneys coverage. I'm here with Shelley Wilson to discuss antitrust. Welcome, Shelley. Thank you. So, antitrust is not something most people talk about or deal with every day. Why don't you describe what antitrust is? I think antitrust, what most people think of antitrust, is when there is conduct that results in a restraint of trade and typically it's in the business context. So possibly a monopolization? Monopoly is a prime example, one that most people know about. We don't see monopolies as much these days as we used to. Why is that? That is because our government has put in place certain watchdog um, investigative forces through the SEC or Securities and Exchange Commission. I guess people that are as old as I am would remember the split up of Ma Bell you know, and then the telecommunications where all these companies became a reality of different sellers and we no longer have things like long distance charges. Right, that is a good example. So another area of antitrust is price fixing, where people can collude, companies collude maybe with other companies to try to force a price to be a certain way to control the market. Right, when the bigger companies are able to cut their prices such that they don't even make a profit anymore, but they do it on purpose just so that they can saturate the market, everybody buys their product, and it puts the other competitors out of business because they can't operate that cheaply. So a small company could be basically forced away because they can't survive the time frame that it takes to get their product into the market effectively. Right, or even if they are in the market, if they don't have enough of a market share, people will jump ship because, of course, they're going to go for the bargain. Right. We don't tend to look at, you know, made in America even like we used to. Right. Right. So I'm sure the antitrust evolves into other areas of your practice. That's just a small area. What other areas do you practice in? Well, I do a lot of the litigation for the firm. Um, we do municipal risk management. Um, I practice a little bit of criminal law, a little bit of family law. Um, corporate um, nonprofit work. I do disillusion of corporations. I've even done some shareholder derivative actions where particularly like families um, want to break up the business or split up the business and they have to figure out um, how to make that happen without losing the business entirely. So people in this area that this is a basically you do complex business matters a lot. Yes. You know, areas where your typical general practitioner is not going to have either the knowledge or the expertise to be able to pull together these agreements that will enable these processes to happen. Correct. Great. And every case has its own unique set of facts. So it's not one of those routine jobs that I have as an attorney. Something is different every single day of my practice. It's very specialized practice. Yes, it is. Great. Well, thank you for coming in today. Thank you.